Hi everyone, here's what's bothering me today. So we've already talked about, you know, Ted Cruz being just the worst person, basically. But he's not the only one who incited violence. And I know that right now the other big name that everyone's talking about is Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri. Or Missouri. But here's the bigger problem that I have with this whole debacle. Is it's not just these two Republicans or any others who objected to the certification of the electors and those who also continue to stoke the flames of violence and, oh, see, this is a steal. You got to stop the steal. Go on, brave patriots. Those people are bad and implicit, right? And I want to talk more about this whole group of people and how they're trying to walk back like the cowards they are. You are not allowed, or at least you shouldn't be allowed, to walk back your claims and your rhetoric and your position and have the audacity, the sheer goddamn audacity, to use the phrase, this is not who we are, after you demonize the other side and you call for their outright attack and execution in some cases, and you decide that you can't handle losing and so you create this false narrative that an election was stolen from you and then you support this and the violent extremists because you think oh well we can just rein them in we just need to use that excitement of the base to get what we want done when the chain breaks free from your grasp that wild beast is your responsibility and it may very well turn on you as we're seeing right now the pro-trump crowd turning on you know former trump allies because oh they aren't you know loyal to the death the way we want them to be and the way we imagine ourselves to be and so this is the problem that i have with all these republicans who spent years goddamn years allowing trump to get away with all his dangerous words and lies and grievances and just saying, well, you know, that's that's just politics for you. When now it has culminated in this historic and terrifying pictures from the U.S. Capitol, the seat of what is supposed to be the world's greatest democracy. And these people are now, you know, clutching their proverbial pearls and saying, oh, how could this have happened? This is not who we are. This is absolutely who you are, especially after years of allowing this to fester and not only fester but to actively cultivate this grotesque monster that seized the u.s capitol a few days ago that's on you guys and you're trying to walk back your responsibility like oh look hey i'm just i'm just a fascist on the internet my words and actions don't actually have consequences right come on this is too extreme guys i know i said that we should you know hang Pelosi and Pence and all them in the day of the rope, but come on, that was just memes, guys. Blood is on your hands, whether you are Ted Cruz, Josh Hawley, or any other Republican or Republican-affiliated person who has spent years enabling and empowering Donald Trump and his dangerous cult following. All this blood from the blood of the supporters to the blood of the police officers the vandalism and destruction in the capital and all the violent rhetoric online and the bombs in nashville and the attacks on blm and the open you know black-shirted street thugs who call themselves the proud boys all of this and more is on you and the fact that you have the audacity to claim innocence and ignorance as you try and walk back your claims there's no coming back from you putting America on the precipice of this descent into fascism, and that is what's bothering me today.